G'day guys and welcome to Upserve Team Mad Mark Fishing Adventures. Well today we're down the beautiful Gold Coast chasing some sharks. Well we've got fairly good weather but uh, unfortunately we've got a, a storm bearing down on us but even if it does storm you know what we're not fair weather fishermen so we're just going to stay out here and bear it and I reckon if you put the effort in you'll reap the rewards. Should see him any second now. Yeah, there he is. Little bull shark. that line <laughs> tag number 73 definitely not a big shark but for the people coming down and just starting off this sort of size is unreal. That Team Mad Muddle hook, as per usual, corner of the gob. All righty. Beautiful, nice and green, just the way we like them. So today we thought we'd come down for a fish, just try out the broad water. Got the seaway over there, or the spit I should say. And within five minutes of dropping the baits, this a rod goes screaming off. So uh, definitely pretty happy on that one. Should be a good night. See the leader just down there. Coming up onto the out of the water. Looks like a little bully. Is she because she's putting the tag in him? Tag number 72. Tag number 72. And it is a female. Let's try to get this hook out. Perfectly in the corner of the mouth there. Oh, you guys on the third shark of the night. Probably around that 1.5 metres again. Right, that leader shouldn't be too far away now. Only run a 50 pound on this reel. You would have seen us use it in the other episodes. Don't forget when you are uh, finish watching this video to subscribe to our channel so you get all the most recent videos so you don't have to wait on Facebook or anything for them to be uploaded. So got the 60 pound leader on so she's not very far at all. I'll start wandering down the beach. Now this place down the Gold Coast just a broad water. No way secret. Nice deep water. And over night time, the sharks really come into their own. All right, get the light out there. Probably about 10, 15 meters out. Up 
couple little head shapes. The old saying, fresh is best, is definitely the case down here in Broadwater. Always try and buy fresh bait from your local seafood shop over over frozen stuff. I think he's just out here now. Yep. Another little ball. Flip this line up. Alright. Alright, I'm going to try and do everything myself here. Fire on. Won't be exact measurement, but be close enough. Pull that back for us. There you go. Let's go back. 1.68. So we'll call it 1.7 because of the knot. Yeah. 76. At 1.7, male. little male. And that circle hook doing its job again. No, 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 be careful, darling. Come here. This is the body end. You can't touch the body end. Come around here. Come around here, this side. No. no. Okay. You never touch the body end, okay? You've got to. Yeah. Beautiful. Off to hopefully get caught another day. A perfect release. All right, guys, we got um, Josh down on another rod. This one's just about in. I have to deal with this all by myself. Uh. All righty, tag number 68. Team Mad Mullen hook perfectly in the corner of the mouth as per usual. And you see she's only just pinned in there so it's easy one to roll out. Alrighty, mine's landed. Josh's has just come in. A little bit smaller. Do what you want, mate. No. Another bully. Fish. Yeah, he's been bitten on the way in. He's been bitten by another shark. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, uh, well, she is absolutely bucketing down. I don't know whether you're seeing the lightning down in the background. I don't know whether you can hear me. I don't know, but it is raining cats and dogs. But, this is what Mad Mullet's all about. We fish in any weather. We don't say die. Off camera, we've caught another shark all around that same size. So what we've actually come and done is on each one of our reels, we've put a glow stick. So when that glow stick takes off, we can see it. Because in this wind and in this rain, we will not hear a thing. Oh, Josh is all hooked up. Still raining. Still hard at it. <laughs> so this is number five for the night, or five for the trip, I should say, so far. Can't complain at all. Alrighty. 
Algul was fishing last night. We encountered quite a few different situations there. Uh, we got hit with a pretty big storm, but mad mama fashion, we just sticked it out. Uh, we're not fair with the fishing when it comes to uh, fishing, that's for sure. Now, one, one thing we did forget to show you last night was the techniques we use down the broad water or you know, land-based fishing in general, the breakaway system. Uh, a lot of people are wondering probably what the breakaway system is. Well. In particular, that is our sinker. Fairly simple, what we use is 50 pound, no heavier, otherwise uh, it can become uh, quite hard to break your brick off if you don't get a run. You don't have to use this side of size brick all depends on what uh, current you're fishing. Very simple. Feed your line through the brick. Just a couple of granny knots. And what I do up the line, this is the shortened version. I usually use about uh, four meters. And just do a couple of knots up the line. I just put weak, weak points in it as well. So that's the first step. Second step, grab your uh, mad mullet rig. This one in particular, or the one in particular we we're using was the uh, 16O and the 14O. Now these are the new hooks we've got on the market. They're forged, really, really strong hooks and come with a full manufacturer's warranty. Our bait all comes from Mr. Bait down at Hemet there. Frank, uh, he supplies absolute unreal bait. Buy the carton if you buy a mullet, which is really good. Now, very simple. Make sure you've got no scales on the, on the one you hook, that's for sure. That's all we do. Exactly that. Next step is we actually tie the fishing line to the shank of the hook just with a couple of granny knots nothing very special at all one more trim the excess off we're set to go so we'll travel out in our uh, canoe, boat, whatever you want, grab the mullet and the brick, drop it over together at once. Once it hits the bottom, the person on the shore will wind in the line all nice and tight. As you can see, this will actually lay across the bottom like so. So when the shark comes along, I'll use the Stanley knife as the teeth, shark comes along, picks up the bait, they'll usually bite through that line, hence breakaway, and the shark will swim off with the bait. All right, there you have it, the uh, breakaway system. Uh, it can be used at any land-based sort of situation. Uh, that particular spot on Waybreak Island, isn't necessarily a honey hole. Uh, down along the spit there, uh, where the rocks finish on the south side, that there is an unreal shark fishing destination, so Bud's Beach. Uh, there, there's many different uh, locations down there. Just jump on Google Maps and, and have a bit of explore. Well, I hope these uh, few little tips and tricks will uh, help you in the next uh, venture out there to go chase some uh, magnificent sharks. Don't forget to uh, hit the little like button and uh, definitely subscribe. Until next time, cheers and good luck.